Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Juice Box here with game four between BB2010 and uh, Druggist. And okay, if you look at my mouses, they have decided to both go random all. So here, just let me start this up here. And uh, I'm here with my friend <laughs> Car, and his name I cannot get over. Running so, yeah, game? so I take mean, it away. I'm getting low, but I kept collecting all the crates all around the map. No, this game, once again, I am actually voting in BB2010's favor because not only does he have the better win loss ratio, but overall today he's doing Yeah, he's up 2 well. 1 right now, so uh, that's yeah. pretty good, I guess. Yeah, oh, by the way, I just realized I could drag my mouse here and highlight things. So, like, if I see something funny, I'll just circle it with my mouse. So, um, yeah. Here we go. Um, so looks like Dress is gonna be the, uh, Cobalt Cutter. How many times have we seen that? Versus the Purple Arbitor. And, uh, sorry, the mic's, the mic's a little close to my face. So, um, yeah, it looks like the Cutter going for a fast expansion. Which is what you typically want. It's good to fast expand. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just let me switch it up real quick. Switcheroo. Please don't tell me the Arbiter is fast expanding. Oh! The Arbiter is fast expanding. Now, once... This is... Oh, wait, but it is Arbiter. It's not like it's Profit or some retarded matchup, but, like... Um... Profits have a really hard time. But even though with the proper strats, it can be really good. But, like... The thing is, you can just use the Arbiter to patrol your bases and keep your expansion safe while the Cutter is going to be the one harassing because at about 2.30 in the game, that's when Gunner Tech finishes. So, uh... Perfect! And, yeah. So, like, um, normally, you, you're not able to protect both your, uh, bases at once doing a fast expand on these kind of maps because, like, as a Prophet, the Prophet is so slow. You have to put turrets up at the main and just protect the, um, expansion with what you have. But the problem is that two minutes and 30 seconds into the game, you just don't have enough if you went for a fast expansion because you have to pay 500 for the base and 500 for the temple. But like, um, he's gonna be getting his temple fifth. I'm assuming, yeah, he should be getting his temple fifth, unless he's forgetting to throw up a supply pad. But getting your temple fifth is the most optimal timing in a fast expand. And what happens is that the arbiter should come out right when the uh, cutters uh, hogs get there, so you can just rage them all down. So uh, yeah. Right, say something. And by the way, Quickie, I see on your post that you said. Your post uh, that you said. Do one is pretty good. Yeah, it's very good, good. good. Yeah, it's very good because the last game we saw BB2010 come back from Druggist's owning of him. Owning of him. <laughs> and win the game. Oh, by the way, um. Wait, hold on. I'm just gonna see if this works. Yeah, look. If you look right there, he is getting his reactor fifth. Which means he's delaying it in favor of a better economy. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm just going to be practicing this right here. So, on this map, we have never ever seen it used, but there is a Sentinel factory right here. And uh, you can do some pretty fun shenanigans with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to like try to make up a couple build orders. So, it looks like the uh, Cutter's Warthog's not upgraded yet because his reactor is just now finishing. So, she should be researching Gunner Tech. And I have... I doubt he's gonna go harass this late because um wait here let me switch real quick yeah because I'm pretty sure that the arbiter is already out no let's see yep the arbiter's already out so yep so at this point so at this point I would say that, point, I would say uh, that uh, uh 2010 might be a little in the lead because his main is out but it's still anyone. <laughs> By the way, I have no idea what he just said. In okay, <laughs> take, take, take it, take it. You're gonna get a kick out of this. Okay, he doesn't understand. Like he can't memorize the colors, so he wrote BB2010 blue <laughs> and Druggist purple on his hand. <laughs> but actually, BB2010 is the arbiter, so yeah. So BB2010 able to get his expansion up. I think that's what he was trying to say. And uh, purple. <laughs> Dragon Spring, the Cobalt Cutter. Oh my god, you will never see a stranger side. So it looks like the initial order harass. Um, it should be thwarted away once the tank comes out. Which uh, I think he's gonna be getting a 
second reactor. Just let me s switch this up real quick. I swear, it is so hard to um, plug out a headset and plug it in in another controller flawlessly. Yeah, so it looks like um, he does have a second reactor, so the vehicle depot should be coming up soon. Well, let's see. What's going on that? He needs to build a vehicle depot and build a scorpion, a scorpion tank. But at the same time, I think he's also going to be harassing the main. That's why the Arbiter was forced to recall. Well, if you have a teleport, why not have fun with it? Yeah, so he did harass the main of the Arbiter and force him to recall. A very smart move on, uh, I think, Druggis. Yeah, man, this is so confusing because um, for the past couple of games, Druggis has been red and now he's suddenly blue. And for the past couple of games, B20 has been blue and now he's suddenly purple. Which, I mean, purple is like one of the coolest colors in the world. Yeah, and uh, yeah, my friend does has it written on his hand, so uh, take it away, Urdu car. You. <laughs> no, uh, he just told me that Druggish is purple, and BB2010 is blue. Yeah, 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 okay, see, I get confused sometimes. <laughs> I had it right written on my hand, but now the words I have crossed out on my hand are now wrong. So it looks like an air pad coming up for Druggish, I think. <laughs> This is so confusing. This is more confusing than when than one of those really bad reality shows like Jersey Shore and stuff like that. And Quickie, by the way, it's just in good fun. So, so don't make it. Five word hogs in gonna here. get owned by this uh, thing right here. <laughs> a message from Espro Mage. I'm gonna read that after this game. Somebody remind me. It's like uh, seven warthogs for. Let's see, Druggis. Oh my god, this is so confusing. I swear. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, Espro Mitch is a pretty cool guy. Like we we did have a little fight a couple weeks ago, but he's been pretty chill to me ever since. He even put a link to my channel from his. So um, yeah, just I take back everything mean I said about Espro Mitch. And he's a pretty cool guy, and you should go check out his channel where he embarrasses Obama health over and over again. And his Obama, his Obama jokes are hilarious. I swear, dude, you need you need to go check them out. I'm but yeah, so it looks like that AirPad is researching stuff. This other thing right here, also doing stuff. I see something going on in the top left corner. This is so hard. Okay, so it looks like a scouting warthog just gonna go back. And yeah, someone brought this up, which is completely true. As Pro Mitch refers to Obama Health Space as the White House, which I cannot get over. Oh wait, where are those hornets? Those hornets. Yeah, so yeah, you just caught a glimpse of me zooming out there. And um, yeah, I don't know if anyone's gonna go past three bases this game. I think, I think Druggist has his third. Which, yes he does, he does indeed have his third. He needs to put a third reactor up, just because third reactors are cool, but so far... And um, he's on three base, so I think he can afford to pump out of two production facilities. Facilities. You know, for when, I, when I was learning English, I used to pronounce it facolets. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, yeah, back to this. Let's see what the Arbitard has going on. And I did promise I would never say that ever again. So it looks like Arbiter gonna run towards these angry warthogs. I mean, angry Arbiters towards the sad warthogs. Uh, so uh, no. about to fail. Arbiter's really powerful. And have to <laughs> fail. <dude. laughs> I'm, I'm telling everyone what I want to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, just something to bring up, Quickie. He says, no, it's not the White House no more. It's the Black House now. <laughs> and I just have to say, I'm like, to say Quickie, clapping right now. Please, no race, please. <laughs> and I'm like clapping right now. I hear something shooting. It's like uh, he's shooting that base. He's got, he's got to sum it up, and I think he's going for... Oh, this is a really powerful build. Um, Banshee Hunter is a really, really powerful build. Unless your opponent makes flamers, because Banshees don't kill flamers quick.